Fresh off the pegs, it's the 2022 Matchbox Mainline Mix B. Stick around, we'll get into them. What's up friends, Brendan here. You're watching the Scale Racing Channel and picked up a few new castings from Matchbox at my local Walmart. So I would expect these to be hanging on the pegs at your stores here before too long. This will be another episode of From the Pegs to the Track, so we'll crack into each one of these cars, take a good look at them, weigh them in, then we're gonna send them down the track dry and come back with a little graphite, see how they do with some lube. Are you with me? Let's go. First car we're gonna take a look at is the Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. Here's a look at the back. Porsche weighing in at 35.2 grams, coming to us in a very nice metallic green coloration. Clear window glass with a gray plastic interior. And you do have headlight tampos on this one with the Porsche badging on that front deck lid. Nothing on the sides. Really nice deco work in the back too. You've got the tailpipes protruding out from underneath the body. This does have the gold five-spoke matchbox wheels. Metal body with a gray plastic base. Next up is the 1994 Lexus LS400. Here's a look at the back. The Lexus weighing in at a mere 29.8 grams, coming to us in a very nice pearl champagne color. You have clear window glass with a sunroof in the top, and you've got Full deco work in the front. And this thing is made up of metal on the top with plastic on the bottom, which explains why it is so lightweight. Full deco work in the rear, looking really nice. You've got nothing on the sides. You do have the disc style wheels. Metal body with a lot of gray plastic base. Next car we're gonna look at is 1976 Volkswagen Golf Mark I. Here's a look at the back. The Golf weighing in at 33 grams, coming to us in a very nice silver colorway. And this one does have rear view mirrors as well. Closed sunroof, clear plastic glass with a black interior. And this one you do actually get some tempo work down the sides, just black striping going down the sides. And you've got the GTI badging in the front grille, which is pretty nice. Same thing on the back. And you can see that post going all the way down to the back window glass. And since you've got tempo work on the sides, you're not gonna get anything in the rear, which is kind of a shame. This one does have the disc style wheels, metal body with a black plastic base. Next up is a 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Here's a look at the back. The Tacoma weighing in at 40.9 grams, coming to us in a gloss white colorway. You have the BF Goodrich above the front wheel arch, and you've got the TRD coloration going down the sides of the truck. Uh, you're not going to get any tempo work in the front. Everything is going to be saved for the sides on this one. And nothing in the rear either. And I guess this is supposed to resemble some kind of an overland rig. And good news, the top does come off on this guy. Making it look like a regular pickup truck now. You have a black plastic insert in the bed. And the window glass is also blacked out. So you're not going to get any interior on this one. And this one has the off-road style wheels, metal body with a gray plastic base. Next up is the 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia. Look at the back. The Giulia weighing in at 34.2 grams in a metallic blue coloration. 
does have clear window glass, black plastic interior, and you've got full deco work in the front. Nothing going down the sides and full deco work in the rear as well. Does have the five spoke wheels in chrome, metal body with a gray plastic base. Next up is the 2018 Dodge Durango. Here's a look at the back. The Durango weighs in at 42.6 grams in a nice gloss metallic black coloration. This one does have rear view mirrors as well. Nothing on the sides as far as tampo work goes. You're gonna have black glass on this one, so you're likely not gonna have an interior on this guy. You do have full tampo work in the front, which looks really nice, as well as full tampo work on the rear. And this one does have a tow hitch, chrome five spoke wheels, metal body, the black plastic base. Saving the best couple cars for last, it's the 2020 Corvette C8. Back of the card. Corvette weighing in at 38.1 grams in a very, very fine metallic black colorway. Clear window glass, black plastic interior. This one also has rear view mirrors, which is pretty nice touch. And we've got full deco work in the front well as full deco work in the rear. I said we've seen this one in blue and red, kind of cool to see it in the black. You've got the gunmetal colored five spoke wheels, which looks really nice on the black. Metal body with a black plastic base. And last but certainly not least, it's the Porsche 918 Spider. Here's a look at the back. Porsche weighing in at 33.1 grams, coming to us in a nice dark silver paint coloration. And you've got full tampo work in the front. You've got the Porsche badging on the very front of the car. Clear window glass, black plastic interior. And it looks like uh, this right here protrudes through the body. It's also uh, made up of the same material as the interior. You got nothing going down the sides. Nice deco work in the rear does have the gold split tin wheels, metal body with a gray plastic base. And comes the point of the video where I give you my top pick out of these eight cars in front of us tonight. Um, the Porsche looking very nice in the green with the gold wheels. Of course, we've seen that casting quite a few times already and same goes with the Corvette. Loving the Corvette with the gunmetal style wheels in the black, like the Durango in black. Uh, the Julia looks really good. Not so hip on the Toyota. The proportions on the front end of that truck look a little bit off to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and give the Porsche 918 my overall pick. Love how the stance is on this car. Good detailing front and rear. Gold wheels with the silver body. Looks really, really nice. That one takes my top pick. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite out of this mix. Now let's get them on the track. All right, here we go. We got eight cars total, so we're gonna split the field, running four at a time. I wanna see two distinct wins after lane swaps to declare the winner of this heat. The winner of this heat will then go on to face the winner of heat number two to determine the overall winner. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the Porsche just creamed everybody. Twenty-four fifteen was his time. Not very impressive, but pretty impressive against the rest of those cars. Lane just swapped each car has been moved over one to the right, except for the Julia. He's in lane number one. On your marks, get set, go. And it's the Porsche.
taking care of business again. Porsche definitely winning out of this group of four. And we got our second heat of four up on deck. On your marks, get set, go. A little bit closer race on that one. Lexus, lightest car out of the entire fleet, taking the win on that one. All right, lanes are swapped. The Lexus is now in lane number one. On your marks, get set, go. He does it again. My goodness. All right, Lexus taking them both. He'll be moving on to see the Porsche. Your heat winners, we got the Porsche in lane number one and the Lexus in lane number two. We're gonna go ahead and time this. Whoever has the fastest lap is the one who wins. On your marks, get set, go. Actually, pretty tight race, 24-14 to a 24-20. So the Porsche taking the Lexus by about six thousandths. Later swap, the Lexus needs to be to 24-14, take the overall win. On your marks, get set, go. And Porsche, 24-27 to 24-36. Porsche winning them both, taking the overall win out of the dry run cars. Now let's send them to the speed shop. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, all the kids have been dusted. Each one of them has received three laps down the track to break in the graphite, and this is gonna be our running order. We're gonna do it rocket round, so the fastest time after lane swaps will advance that car on the next round. Unless I see greater than a car length beat, then it'll be a one and done. Let's get them going. First pairing, we've got the Alfa Romeo Giulia in lane number one and the Lexus in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Great guy race. 23.59 to a 23.62. Nice run by the Julia. It's gonna take the first one. Later slot, the Lexus needs to be to 23.59 to go to the next round. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. 23.64 to a 23.80. Julia wins them both. He moves on. Next up, we got the Taco in lane number one and the Durango in lane number two. Ditch the camper shell. It was only worth a couple grams anyway. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, look at the Tacoma. 2381 to a 2404. That was a lousy run by the Durango. Taco takes the first one. Lager swap. The Durango needs to be to 2381 to advance. On your marks, get set, go. I don't know, maybe. Wow, look at that, 2368. <laughs> Not going to beat the 2365. Tacoma wins them both. He'll be moving on. Here we got the VW Golf in lane number one, and we've got the dry run winner, the Porsche, in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, that was a lot closer than I thought. 2351 for the Porsche to a 2376 for the Golf. Porsche, turn on the wind lights one more time. Lanes are swapped. The golf needs to beat a 2351 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. Golf with the whole shot. 2369 to a 2373. Golf winning that one, not fast enough to beat the first round win on the Porsche. Next up, we got a couple fast looking cars. We got the Corvette in lane number one, and the Porsche 918 in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. 2341 for the Vet, 2470 for the Porsche. That'll be a one and done for the Vet. Round one is done, winners on the right, losers on the left. Pretty, but slow. Round two starts off with the Taco in lane number one and the Julia in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, 
Taco had the lead and lost it. <laughs> Twenty-three sixty-seven to a twenty-three seventy-three. Julia going around the truck on the big end. Landers swap the taco needs to beat a twenty-three sixty-seven to go to the final. On your marks, get set, go. Nope. Twenty-three seventy-one to a twenty-three seventy-two. Awfully close but the Julia takes them both. This ought to be a good one. Porsche in lane number one and the vet in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, it's close, but it's the Porsche 20. Oh, look at that. 20. <laughs> 2352 to a 2352. Looks to me like the Porsche had the lead all the way down, but I guess the vet caught him in the big end. Let's run him again. The slate is clean. We're going to rerun him in the same lanes. On your marks, get set, go. It's close again. <laughs> the vet pulling off a 2348 to a 2353. Vet takes the first one. Landers swap the Porsche needs to beat a 2348 to go on the final. On your marks, get set, go. No, it is the Vet. 2350 to a 2358. Corvette going on to see the Julia. Round two is done. Winners on the right, losers on the left. And that's our final matchup. Race final, we've got the Corvette in lane number one and the Alfa Romeo in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the vet handling. <laughs> the Julia, 23.48 to a 23.67. Vet taking the first one. Langer swap the Julia needs to beat a 2348 in order to steal the win. On your marks, get set, go. Pretty tight. <laughs> but the vet shows separation at the end of the track. 2350 to a 2364. There you have it. The vet taking the overall win out of these eight matchbox cars. All right, it's the battle for third. Let's see who takes the last spot on the podium. The taco in lane number one and the Porsche in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Tight race, but it is the Porsche. 2355 to a 2364. Porsche taking the first one. Langer swap the taco needs to be a 2355 to secure third. On your marks, get set. And it's not going to happen. 23.59 to a 23.74. Porsche taking the number three spot. Well, you knew this had to happen. We got the Alfa Romeo in lane number one and the Porsche in lane number two. See if the Alfa can keep its number two spot. On your marks, get set, go. It's tight, but it's the Porsche. 23.59 to a 23.79. Porsche taking it by 20 thousandths. Langer swap the Alpha needs to beat a 2359 to keep its number two spot. On your marks, get set, go. Pretty tight race. Twenty three fifty five for the Porsche, twenty three fifty seven for the Alpha. Porsche taking over the number two spot. Okay, there you have it, the 2020 Chevy Corvette taking the overall win. We've got the Porsche 911 Cabriolet taking the number two spot and the Alfa Romeo Giulia coming in third. So now we're gonna take our vet 
and stick them over here in the winner's column, waiting on two more cars, and we can run off the final. That's all I've got for you this afternoon. Hope you guys enjoyed the races. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, y'all stay healthy, have fun racing.